On to race set number five, and the fifth on the programme is a class four over the 1,200 metres here, heading by a dashing gainer behind uh, Dr Race at last. time. his second visit to the all-weather surface. Lotus Breeze drops in class, class four for the first time. Bond elegance roll forward from Barry 8. Gallant returns a beaten favourite on his all-weather debut last time out. Startling powers won two of his last three. Golden Effort, last start winner. That was at uh, Odds Travel Ambassador. His first up since May last year. First start as well for Armand Lee. And let's go free. He debuts on the surface too. There'll be some pace early here. Startling Power, Dashing Gainer, two very fast horses. Of course, Startling Power last start had a wide barrier, but a good barrier again on this occasion. Golden Effort sat a little deep, one last start. Lotus Breeze can often step and be handy to the pace. Uh, he's getting the drop in grade. Um, Hearts Keeper, the old fellow, a chance of being posted wide, but he has got a light weight. Here's uh, Dashing Gainer, and as you say, he's likely to be on the pace, and he really pushes, really pushed out here uh, in the early stages. Anyway, this gallop, he's pulling up here, OK? And so he's, uh, he'll be likely to go forward. Very fit uh, going into this particular contest, and we know Mee Choi's got a good record with these horses on the all-weather. The old boy, Heartskeeper, still gallops well. He's getting on in age now, but uh, uh, he still goes OK, and um, he's racing well this season, so uh, he, he's going nice enough here. Uh, he's an eight-year-old now, isn't he, old uh, Heartskeeper? And the other one we're looking at here is Golden Effort with Matthew Chadwick aboard. That's some 427 on the far side, just working with another horse, Happy Fun. But he is going better than Happy Fun here. All right, we'll hear from Matthew Chadwick very shortly about that last start win. Uh, we'll start off, though, with Dashing Gain. He's only had one visit to the All-Weather in the past. We're looking at uh, his last start effort at Happy Valley. Yeah, interesting, isn't it, that, um, as Paul said, Mee Choi has decided to bring him back to the All-Weather for uh, this performance after a nice effort to uh, his second run down in grade. He, uh, he's the master, isn't he, generally, of the all-weather track, Mee Choi. So there's going to be some pressure early, but I think Dash and Gainer would love a 1,000-metre race on the all-weather if he yeah. could get one. Yeah. That's the key. The 1,200 might just stretch him. Yeah, I agree. I reckon he'll be in front with 200 to go, but um, he might not be on the post. All right. OK, that's uh, Dash and Gainer. What about Golden Effort? Can he back up his last start win with jockey Matthew Chadwick? Matthew, you ride Golden Effort on Wednesday night. Good to get the win on him last time. Yeah, any win is, win is very happy to get, so uh, hopefully we can get the ball rolling. What do you think of that performance? He was a bit of a rough heap going into that race. His form wasn't too bad leading into it, I didn't think. It was fairly consistent. He's just a young horse improving, so hopefully he's learn from that win and build him some confidence and uh, you can keep it going. You've ridden him some work since then. How's he come through the run? He seems well and, and, and uh, fit, so hopefully he can just freshen up a bit and go into it nicely. That win came on a, a wet all-weather track. Any concerns if he was to run on a dry track on Wednesday night? I wouldn't think so. As I said, he seemed to be, his form was fairly consistent, so he's still a young horse, so we're still working out what he's, what he's really about. So I don't, I don't think it's a problem. He seems to work on it fine in the morning, so I'd be more worried about the gate. What will you do from there, do you think? Well, he shows natural speed like he did last time, so hopefully there'll be someone to slot in behind them and uh, and then see him run home again. He managed to win from barrier nine last time. He's come up with barrier 11 this time. Um, Matthew had a good day that day as well. He wrote a double on the... Yeah, on Rainbow the Gold was mm. the other one. Yeah, look, he's still on the uh, the rise, this horse. I don't think I snuck him in, but I do respect him. He's um, he's definitely a chance for exotics, I would have thought. Yeah, I didn't put him in either. I, I, I think, again, we're going to get different conditions. Um, he did mm. appreciate that uh, sloppy track that day, I thought. All right, OK. One more race to have a look at, and it's Bond Elegance and Startling Power. Startling Power's winning run came to an end here, but this was barrier 10. He's got barrier 2 this time. I've got them both in. I think this was uh, not a nice form race, this one, and... Uh, the horses both ran uh, accordingly pretty well. Bon Elegance finished off nicely here for second. And as you say, uh, he's going to have a, a, a good run here from barrier eight. He should be able to slot, uh, slot in OK. And uh, sparkling p uh, power from barrier two can be right on the pace. So, yeah, look, I've got a place for both. Uh, worried me a little bit the way Startling Power weakened there. He's already won a cup and got back up in the ratings. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll sneak into a minor place just. All right, OK, but our favourite, Paul, in a wide-open contest, gallant return. He was beaten favourite last time. Yeah, I haven't got him in, but I've got to put my long shot in this race, and I've got him on top, a horse we haven't talked about, which is Starlot. Now, he did run uh, two seconds on the all-weather about this same time of his campaign last season off a rating of 44-45. He's now rated 43, so he's rated better. 
And it was winning uh, when he hit, did win his race. That was a 42. So he's a very similar rating. He's barrier number three. Does like the surface. He's been working well. And he's a $14 chance. So, and then what I think is quite an open race. I think it's a good price. I've got him on top to beat Startling Power and Bond Elegance, the two we just talked about. And the old boy, I'm going to throw Hearts Keeper in for fourth. But I do like the 11 on it in each way. I'm going to go with one on each way value price here too. Take a little bit of a chance with Lotus Breeze, who gets the drop in grade. First time he's come into this class. His efforts recently have been very good. Two starts ago behind Perpetual Treasure on this surface. And uh, after that, he ran a great race behind Always Win, who was competitive on the weekend in a very strong race. He can show speed, sit on the back of the pace. I think he might run a race at a bit of a price here. Chad Schofield uh, jumping aboard. Dashing Gainer will jump and run. Startling Power will do the same. And I'm not against Paul's selection either. Starlet, I actually gave him a chance when he stepped up to 16.52 back. That stretched him. But the dirt's the key, as Paul mentioned. Um, he's worth throwing in. So 21611. Could be some value to be found here, I feel. Mm. I've actually I've got Lotus Breeze on top as well. I think yeah. he's put in a good trial as Those well. last few efforts have been good. Yeah, the other number I'll throw out here is Let's Go Free. Could be a decent price as well, right down at the bottom there. But that was race number five. Mm. Race number six is up next for us. We'll take a short break first, though, back right after this.